I am solar. I am solar. Yo, yo, yo. It's heading. All right. So came to my mind. So I'm going to discuss it real quick. and get straight to the point. I've been up for a while. Working on music. Other YouTube channel. All kind of stuff. So I'm going to do this video. Get it off my chest. And let my chest hit the bed. All right. We all want unconditional love, hmm. right? Um, and we seek that from others for sure. Even before we learn how to even learn what that is, or even, or even allow ourselves to go through the experience of giving unconditional love, you know what I'm saying? And going through the hurts and pains of it to even know if we are capable of reciprocating that. That's a strong word of a phrase. It's a, it's a strong thing. Unconditional love. This is my opinion. I could be wrong. I don't mind being wrong. I like being wrong. Okay, let me know I got some more life to live because I got some more things to learn, okay? I rock with me regardless. All right. In my opinion, <laughs> ain't nothing on this earth unconditional except the love that we have for ourselves. And some of us, a lot of uh, people have failed at that. How we know? Suicides. You feel me? Unconditional love for self would never allow you to hurt yourself. I don't give a damn what you do. You're going to have mercy on yourself. You feel me? So I'd rather be selfish than overly selfless and lose myself in it. So, um, seeking for or even expecting true unconditional love, unconditional in, in every sense of the word. Okay? Because the definition. We only get that from our creator. Or however you believe. Or your higher power, your higher source, or whatever. And ourselves as much as possible. Okay? Unconditional love. What does that mean? I give an example. You would never know what it's like, or you would most likely never even allow yourself to be in a position to have to keep on exercising or keep on giving someone or, or something unconditional love if there is no reciprocation. And most likely, the person that gives unconditional love is not going to really need much of unconditional love because how you know when your love is being tested when you're wronged that's the only way to know or even to experience or or to even think of, of such a concept as unconditional love that means you have to have some shit done to you and you stay there for a lifetime and you deal with it that's unconditional. Everything else, everything on this earth comes with conditions. Even life itself. If you're born, when you're born, because your ass is born, it's cause and effect. On, on this date, by this date, your ass ain't gonna be here in physical form. It's conditional. Nothing on this earth is unconditional except spirit, except love for self as much as possible, you know? Because we all can go through something that'll make us be like, man, fuck that, I'm out of here. <laughs> you feel me? So, I just wanna say this. I I think it's very naive and very unhealthy to, to even fool ourselves and try to seek true unconditional love from another human. Mm-mm, because -mm. I ain't gonna lie to you. I got boundaries, folks, with everybody and everything, even my kids. 
You feel me? If somebody do me something, it depends on the level of it. Me, I'm more of a heart person. A person could cross me, steal something from me, and uh, I, feel, I, I just watch you and be like, hey, bro, now I gotta beat your ass. You keep on doing it. You know what I'm saying? But we be cool tomorrow or whatever. But if, if when a person crosses me on a heart level, and you know what I'm saying? And act like it's nothing to their pot of concerns on the inside of them, that's when I draw the line. No, me, I'm the type of person, don't cross me on a heart level. I ain't really got time to give examples. I can forgive everything on the outside. You can even sleep with my woman. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't gonna wanna kid you. I'm gonna, yeah, like, I can forgive that. But on a heart level, cross me on a heart level, and then diminish my cons you know, my feelings, you know what I'm saying? That'll get you exed out with me. So that's conditional because I have love for self. To have, oh God, I won't say the name. The only one, I believe in God, I believe in Jesus. So to me, the only being that is even capable <laughs> of, of expressing or being the example of unconditional love is my God. Somebody yeah, call me. Oh, then my cousin Reggie. I'll call you back later when I get up, bro. So, I know you're gonna watch the video. So, God is the only one that is that long suffering. A lot of people in love relationships, some people are more generous than others. Some people are more selfish than others. That's okay, you can't expect you from another. You gotta be willing to, in a love relationship especially, you know what I'm saying, you gotta pay forth effort. You know what I'm saying, to be able to overlook certain things and still maintain, you know what I'm saying, like, such a level of interest in that person because they're not family. You're trying to grab them in to be your family. You know what I'm saying? Y'all get married or whatever. So, unconditional love only comes from God. You know what I'm saying? Like, some relationships have failed because maybe one participant in a in a love relationship was expecting unconditional love from the other. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, and nine times out of 10, that person that was expecting unconditional love, you know what I'm saying? But didn't get it. I guarantee that they needed some unconditional love given to them as well. You know what I'm saying? So everything is conditional. Give you an example. Uh, abusive relationships. It could be a woman to a man or a man to a woman. But let's go to a woman to a uh, man to a woman. A man be beating his, his girl ass. And at first she take it because she remember the good times plus her own self insecurities and, and her fear of being alone and all of that. You know what I'm saying? You know, which we all have at some point. At some level. At some point, if she don't, if she want to live, she gonna leave that motherfucker. And she can love him. She can love him unconditionally. Mm. But unconditional acceptance and unconditional um choosing to share your presence with somebody, that's that's not unconditional. That's not safe. Not here. Because we can be harmed or we can be damaged. Um, to the point of no return back to the original state that you were in before you suffered that damage you know what I'm saying so we have to be conditional in love relationship I'm gonna speak in love relationships you know what I'm saying um, especially in love relationships I, a lot of love relationships end because we myself included I have still learn this shit we expect the same effort from the, you know what I'm saying, from the person that you're with to be given back to you. 
even if you don't need it. Say like, okay, say another another type of love relationship, you know what I'm saying, with man and woman. Say if the woman is, you know, say she got a problem with being faithful, you know what I'm saying, but he don't. You know what I'm saying, like he love, I mean, she it for him, you know what I'm saying, you know, um, and, and she loves him unconditionally. She loves him unconditionally, but she also has, has desires that she choose, you know what I'm saying, to not use as much discipline with, you know what I'm saying, to, to give him that respect. If she keep on fucking around on him and he really, really love her, like Forrest Gump love Jenny, you hear feel because when men love, we love and we not being. That's why niggas be killing their woman and shit. You know, some dudes can't take it and they kill their woman, got the children too, then they self. If, if they just see her kiss another guy, like, God right, damn. You know what I'm saying? When we love, we love. Don't play with goddamn a loving man who, who ain't balanced. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? But, um, after a while, he gonna get rid of her. Away from his presence before he end up fucking around and making a mistake and getting rid of her physically off his earth. Send her into the upper room. You feel what I'm saying? Um, he, he may always love her unconditionally, but he cannot unconditionally accept her in that same um, 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 position in his life because he has to now be selfish. He has to now be selfish and think about himself first and his heart. Okay? And the love and the unconditional love that he may have for his cheating wife or cheating girl, whatever, is going to be the thing that hurts him because he can't be with her like he desires. And he did nothing wrong. Now, to get back to my point, he didn't need that type of unconditional love from her because he was set on that. Now, nine times out of 10, it was something that, you know what I'm saying? Some things that she didn't like about him, you know what I'm saying? To the point to where she just, you know what I'm saying? Like, fuck it, I'm finna go goddamn, you know what I'm saying? Do me. Temptation, goddamn. It ain't enough of of what she needs to feed her interest level daily. Because we all have to continue to make the same choice every day to keep the same thing that we made agreement on on having. I.e. a love relationship. You got to make the same choice every day. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, nine times out of ten, he probably... You know what I'm saying? Like, he, some shit that she just got to have. And and he, you know what I'm saying? You know, um, although she may love him unconditionally. You feel me? But she was willing to risk it all. You know what I'm saying? Um, to have her needs and her, dis, her strong desires fulfilled. Now... Okay, I got three minutes. So, I said I'd say that, man. You ain't gonna find unconditional love in another human, not in the true sense of the word. If a person, there might be a person in a love relationship who 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 does certain things or embraces certain aspects of the relationship, like sex, to you know what I'm saying? To keep him or her attached to their person. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But some people will see that as like, all you want is all you want to be pleased, all you want is sex. No, it's not that. Maybe it's not that. Maybe you're looking at it wrong. If that person never cheated on you or whatever, then obviously the person is trying to bond more. And if he if he wants to use sex. You sex. That's what it's for. I think it feel good. You know, as much as as you can, you should get that to that person who's trying to bond with you only. You know what I'm saying? As opposed, got them to that cheating woman. She just said, look, man, fuck that. 
Oh, buddy, got down right now, boy. I see. Hey, I, hey, hey, hey. I felt it. You know, and she felt the vibe. It was like, hey, okay, God forgive me. You feel me? Laugh not cry later. You feel me? But some people would use, or some people would use. You know what I'm saying? Um, going on dates, or you know what I'm saying? Doing things together to help themselves stay fueled up with the interest um, level that they need to make that everyday choice easier. Cause it's hard trying to make a love relationship work when you got differences. You know what I'm saying? You know, you ain't gonna goddamn have a whole hundred, 80, 20 or 60, 40 or whatever. And then, then most of us will get a certain age here, we'll settle with with the person who we can at least at least wake up and go to sleep with without killing each other. You feel what I'm saying? So that's like 40, 60. <laughs> Take what you can get. So, look, I gotta stop this one. I got some more to say though. So, in essence, man, you only gonna get unconditional love from your creator and not your mate. You're gonna be, you're gonna be disappointed every time. And I, I could be wrong, but I put my neck out here on this one and say I know I'm right. It ain't about me being right. It's just common sense because we're not capable. That's not what we're here for. We're here to unconditionally love ourselves. And then, if we love ourselves enough, then we won't have to, you know, we won't have to um, unconditionally love somebody when they give you their ass to kiss. You know what I'm saying? Now, you do have a thing in some people, mostly women, who can who can put up with a lot of shit? You don't mean that they ain't scarred, but they got you know what I'm saying more. I don't know if it's loyalty. I don't know if it's love. I don't know what the fuck that shit is. Cause I ain't like I'm a Gemini. I leave your ass quick. I don't give a fuck. We've been together 25 years. You cross me and you don't respect me and you don't at least try to see it my way. You know what I'm saying? What I'm trying to explain to you. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. If you don't at least try and you gotta be right all the time. Okay. I uh, don't. Uh. Uh. -uh, uh, -uh. No sir, no sir, cause we ain't gonna get along. And I don't wanna kick it with your skate with you nothing, man. Like on ATL. Until we get this resolved. I can't I can't me this how I'm set up. Some people will call it petty. A lot of people are willing to sweep shit up under the rug in order for the thing to go forward. But that's fake kicking it to me. The root word of relationship is relate. Mmm, Kabu, said it again. The root word of relationship is relate. Now, what we call people who try to relate to you, you can feel they just trying to kick it with you, man. You can kick it, bro. What you want? Man, what you got? What you want? Some money? What you want out of me? Zero? What you want, bro? You know what I'm saying? Fake kicking it. Either you relate or you don't. It's not, it doesn't take hardly no effort at all. You know what I'm saying? To relate to something that relates to you. My skin is brown. I got some brown pants over there. Same color. I don't have to try. You see what I'm saying? It is what it is. I got a blue shirt over there, brown skin. It doesn't relate. But, that was an example, you know what I'm saying. I, I better relate more with them brown pants over there. I most likely wear them more than that blue shirt. You see what I'm saying? Cause it's my same, exact same skin tone, you know? So, unconditional love is for, is, is, is for the use of God to us. I think having to be such an unconditional love giver is above our pay grade. <laughs> it's above our, our ability because people die because they stay in toxic situations and trying to give and trying to give and trying to get to our men and women. And love relationships, you know. Um, yeah, and it don't be healthy. And then, you know, since the fault and blame, it don't be on the person who fucking up. It be on the person who didn't leave. They respect themselves enough to set a boundary, even though they love that person. Self, uh, unconditional acceptance. 
and unconditional reinstatement. No, sir. Shit, that's a one way ticket, goddamn, for the enemy. Or the evil one, or negative energy, narcissist, to just come in and use your ass for all your gas. <laughs> all the gas you got in your ass is gonna be used up. I get a gas pump. We go to a gas pump. No emotions involved. Pay for the gas pump. Get that gas, get the fuck on. That's how people would do other people when they need something or, or want something from another who's willing to just unconditionally give. Fuck no. Even the Bible tells us to resist the devil. <laughs> Shit. We ain't made to unconditionally accept anything in order for us to be like, okay, I unconditionally love you. Unconditionally love, unconditional acceptance to me, I try everything I can to keep this bond together. I'm in a love relationship now. I try everything I can. If I like sex, I'm going to try to goddamn keep you from putting that thing in you. I'm going to keep it in there. Until, you know what I'm saying? I'm going I'm to I'm 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 freak you out. This ain't freaking nobody else out. That's my way. You know what I'm saying? For now, till we get old. I'm trying to make it till we get old. So I'm a. And you, woman. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what I use. That's. I'm a man. Yeah. That's how Larry. A solar man, you know what I'm saying? You know. Feels himself. You know what I'm saying? With love interest. That can last till we get old. And, and faithfulness. And respect. And in truth and in honor, I don't give a fuck what you got to use. Then, say my lady mate, you know what I'm saying? She may use me in another way. You know what I'm saying? It's called give and take. It's not for us to judge, you know what I'm saying? One another's way of feeling themselves with love for your ass. That's why it's called compromising. Every Every love relationship that is seeking for unconditional love is gonna test that relationship to try to see if it's there and they're gonna fuck it up every time. You know what I'm saying? So just, just have unconditional love for yourself. And 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 that way your energy level will stay up. So you know what I'm saying? So you have some some love to give your person if needed until they get their mind right. Or until, you know what I'm saying, you see that that ain't gonna be right. And you like, okay, I love you, but I gotta go. You feel what I'm saying? I ain't gonna let you kill me, motherfucker. You feel me? So unconditional love comes from God. It comes from within. It's not wise to try to, I said this last time, and I'm through. It's not wise for us to expect or look for un un true unconditional acceptance, I rather say from other other beings because if that was the case what's the need for respect shit you gonna unconditionally accept me anyway you feel me and if a person feel like that they already don't respect you because my lady who if i be with at any time if i make the choice to give myself to her exclusively oh the respect level is already there she ain't gotta try to i'm gonna respect the fuck out of her I'm going to respect her boundaries. I'm going to get on my ass when I need to, healthily, as a man should. You know what I'm saying? But I'm always going to respect her. I'm going to respect her feelings. I ain't going to down talk her. You know what I'm saying? That's not going to be my usual practice. You know what I'm saying? You know, we all say things we don't mean, especially when you be in a long ass relationship. You know, fuck, get tired of the same shit. Like, look, goddamn now. Huh? You feel me? But your yeah, unconditional love don't come now, nah, bro. We're here to compromise with each other and respect each other. So we won't hurt each other. So you ain't gonna need to unconditionally accept your mate because it'll never go that far. That's a, a healthy relationship. Not how much a person can take. That's toxic, bro. That's why so many women fucked up and need healing. That's why so many men is fucked up and need healing. And nobody likes to take time to themselves to truly heal because it's boring and you be haunted. You, you know what I'm saying? You're still you. So, you know what I'm saying? Just, just 
love yourself as much as possible. I think that's the only way. Accept the love from your creator if you got a spiritual relationship. Accept that love. Unconditionally love yourself. You know what I'm saying? So, so you will set conditional boundaries around, around yourself <clears throat> so you will never allow nobody to truly hurt you. You feel me? Because only a person who lacks true self-love will allow certain things to be done. What you are willing to put up with, you know, you don't get no trophy for that. That ain't no, um, that ain't no honorable thing. Nigga, that's some bullshit. Like, you, you dumbass, what the fuck? Are you okay? You feel me? Like, damn. You know what I'm saying? Like, so many, man, boy. I've been married twice. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, 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 and unconditional love. If it, if it was unconditional love in the form of unconditional acceptance, I'd still be married to my first one. You understand? So that's not what we're doing here. That's not what we're seeking for. We're seeking for interest, respect. Respect gotta come before love anyway. Cause love is a baby. Love is tender and it's pure. Love and the purest love itself is untainted. But love unbridled, love untrained and unlearned in the ways of this world will kill your ass if you fuck with it because it loves itself. Love, love, oh God, I'm about to love has to love the fuck out of love in order for it to remain pure love. And love will kill you if you fuck with it. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, just look for somebody who likes you. Make sure in love relationship, the like level is always high. Cause that'll keep y'all together. And if y'all like each other, and y'all friends, and y'all relate, damn it effortlessly, you ain't gotta worry about the love. It's good, you don't have to, I love you, man, I love you too. You don't have to, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, like just enjoy each other. So, yeah, man, so. I think that's all I got. I'm setting my food in. So, all right, y'all. I am y'all. I love y'all. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, man. If you subscribe to me, I'll subscribe to you. And I'll know when you subscribe because I get a notification. And I'll reciprocate that love to you. I don't care if you got a million subscribers already. You have a million and one. If you subscribe to me, give to me, I give to you. It's free. So, I love y'all because I am y'all. And. I'll let y'all. All right.